Hi guys, Soul Gaming here. Just providing you a little video on what rogue spec I would recommend playing in 9.1. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over some simulations on what uh, damage each spec is doing, as well as where, as I, where I think each uh, spec is going to get played the most. I'll also go over the legendaries and uh, covenants that you should be running for each spec. Um, so let's jump into some simulations first off. Um, so here, I've got some simulations for both Mythic Plus and Single Target. Um, so let's start with the Single Target ones. So I've got them broken down into Covenants here. These are all taken from the Rogue Discord. There's some excellent um, simulation craft users there, so I recommend checking that out as well. So note for the Assassination and the Sub ones, they're not using the Sylvanas Daggers. However, these outlaw ones are using the um, main hand weapon as well as Sylvanas Dagger in the offhand. Um, so, as you can see, for both sub and assassination, Venthyr is the top spec here. And that's primarily due to the Obedience Legendary being extremely strong. Now, we don't get that until Renown 48, um, but once that comes in, that's going to make that Covenant extremely strong for both specs. For Outlaw, it's a lot more balanced. Kyrian is quite good with High Renown, as is Venthyr, both of them due to their legendaries, um, and Neko and Nightfair a little bit behind. Now down here you'll see the peak simulations. These are with Sylvanas Daggers for both Assassination and Subtle Tree. So you can see Sub is performing really, really well and far above what both Outlaw and Assassination are going to be. Um, simming there. So I'd say for raid we're going to see a lot of sub and a bit of assassination. Um, assassination has some advantages in kind of spread cleave where you need to be getting down all the targets, um, whereas sub if there's not much downtime it's going to excel in just pumping into bosses. Um, any AoE where you can build on multiple targets with um, with your Shuriken Storm. Sorry, I forgot the name of the ability there. <laughs> um, anytime you can build on multiple targets there and funnel into a single target using Eviscerate, Sub is also going to be extremely strong there. So I think that's where we're going to see most of those played. Perhaps a little bit of Outlaw. Outlaw is still going to be fine. It's still performing better than a lot of other um, specs for other classes. However, I think Sub is going to be the best performing with some assassination depending on the fight. And for both of those, you probably want to be playing Venthyr, but perhaps Kyrian for sub is going to see some use as well. So moving on to Mythic Plus, we can see that sub is really far ahead when their full sims with Sylvanas Dagger are implemented. Now we're going to be wanting to be Venthyr again. The other Covenants are pretty decent, but they're still quite behind Venthyr when using the Obedience Legendary. You can see Assassination's quite a bit behind Sub there, and Outlaw's kind of sitting in the middle. Now I do expect we'll still see some Outlaw throughout Mythic Plus, primarily because Gouge is such an important uh, utility skill that they have, um, as also just being able to Blade Flurry and get a lot of just split, split cleave AoE damage down is going to be incredibly important. However, Sub also does that extremely well. So that's where Sub is going to really come back to the fore. Being able to use Cheap Shot from Stealth as Sub as well when in a Shadow Dance is also going to be extremely important and something that Assassination was missing from a utility point of view. So I do think we'll see a bit of both, um, but Sub likely to play out stronger in things like Tyrannical Week where you need more boss damage or more priority target damage. Um, so, let's move on to the legendaries that we want to be playing for each of those classes. So for sub, I'll start with. For single target, if we're Venthyr, we're going to be wanting obedience. It's extremely strong, and there's really nothing that's going to come close to this. I'm going to want to craft it on the uh, back cloak slot as well, as the head slot is taken by our domination socket. Um, if we're not Venthyr, if we're Kyrian, say, we're going to want Resounding Clarity. It's also extremely strong. Um, it's going to allow your Anima Charge to be on combo points 2 to 5, so that'll be quite interesting. 
if we're neither of these covenants and before 48 renown where we can't get them we're going to want akaris now akari is only seeming slightly better than finality so you can also just craft finality if you're going to want this in other situations so that brings us to mythic plus in mythic plus if we're venthyr we're going to be crafting obedience again we're going to be using that in all situations however for other covenants and before renown 48 finality is where we're going to want to be this is extremely strong in AoE with um, buffing Black Powder, but also it's going to be useful in single target for Eviscerate and Rupture. So this is going to be very strong for bossing as well. Um, so let's change over to Assassination, go over what legendaries you want to get there. So for Assassination for single target, we're going to be wanting Obedience again. Um, it's just insanely good, and you're going to want it in every single situation. If we're not 48 right now, and we're not um, Benthia, which I would recommend definitely for assassination, we're going to be crafting Doomblade for single target. We're going to put this in the back slot. Um, for Mythic Plus, we have Zoldikes. We're going to be putting these on the legs. Um, but we can also use Mark of the Master Assassin. They have slightly different usage in terms of how you're going to play it, but they're both very strong. Um, I'd recommend just playing around with each one, seeing which one you feel is better. Um, and just in the situation, Master Assassin is going to be better when your tank is pulling around it, letting you get re-stealths between packs. Uh, Zoldark will be great for just chain pulling multiple packs in a row. So let's go on to Outlaw. So for Outlaw, uh, Greenskins has been buffed a bit and it's actually quite strong. However, it does lose out to Celerity in nearly every single situation. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crafting Celerity on the uh, finger or ring slot. And that's going to be the same for both single target and Mythic Plus. Now last season we were running Mark of the Master Assassin. However, this is no longer simming as well as Celerity. So we're going to be running Celerity in every single situation. So that kind of brings me to the end of this video. Um, basically I just went over all the specs, how each one's performing, and what covenants and legendaries I recommend for each spec. So just a quick summary there, I'd say that Subtle Trees is going to be the best spec overall for both Raid and Mythic Plus, and we're going to be want to be Venthyr. However, you can also play Kyrian. Um, if you want to be Assassination, I'd also recommend Venthyr. It's really the best option by quite a way. And for Outlaw, there's a couple of different options. Um, both Venthyr and Kyrian are looking quite strong, as well as Necro in a Mythic Plus situation. However, with Rogue, all of our Covenants are quite close together, so you could really run whichever one you feel you like the best, or you feel you perform the best on. But yeah. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Remember, like, subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.